I think of glaze stove. Okay. You want a glaze stove? Okay. Glaze stove. Gorgeous. It's beautiful. We should have come here before. Place to paint.
I have huge goldfish in there, or whatever that is. And I have goldfish too. Oh, really? Are they as big as this? Yeah, about 200% uh, smaller. Mm. And, uh, oh, how cute. My dog woke me up today because uh, he was sitting next to my bed and he saw outside on the tree a squirrel. You know what I'm, I'm saying? not sure. Maybe. Yeah, I think you. Really? Oh, you have cats? One. One? Mm -hmm. I have four. Oh my it's hard to keep track of them. <laughs> for the kids to play the ball. It's all marble. Hand laid, that's what you said. It's like you know, it's just a blue sky and then it right. goes right into the water, kind of like the blue yeah. water and the blue sky. And it's gorgeous. Then you get a black one. Right. Yeah. It's like a lake. Yeah. Maybe yeah, they're dangerous. Some of these are really dangerous. Black? Black one. Yeah. yeah. I guess because it's too dangerous. For what? Something like hit the bottom <laughs> when you're diving. Because <laughs> you don't see the bottom? I don't know, no. seriously. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. So where are we going? I don't know, but I mean, I really wish I would have got my camera because, I mean, all of this, I want to paint. I want to come back here and I want to paint everything. It's just beautiful. This is the time of year to do it because oh, all the flowers are absolutely. in the It's just gorgeous. It's then again, fall is nice because then you can get the real colors, you know, of all the leaves and mm -hmm. it's just gorgeous. It's like a velvet blanket in just the covers summer, you, the ground. Yeah, in the summer you can't do anything because everything is brown, unfortunately. In this, I yeah, I mean, up here with the pines and stuff, I don't think it'll get that way, but I really want to get the blooms of all the flowers that mm -hmm. are coming out, because especially when we were coming down the, um, the staircase and all that we saw, it's just beautiful. I've never been up here before. I don't know why. I thought you might like it. I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I 
How does it feel? How does it feel to take a day off? Oh, I love it. And you work too much. I mean, how many I days are you it. putting in over there? Too many. Too I mean, many it seems hours. to me that every time I try to call you or page you, but you're at work. <laughs> I mean, it just seems that every time I'm trying to get a hold of you, you're at work. I mean, I know I can call you or page you and you'll be there. Well, the I mean, thing is, I, I never... You have to I look never, up yourself, too, not just for me I do, but, else. but it's different because I love the work I do. And so it doesn't... It never really appeared to me as a lot of stress and work. Right. I just do it because I love it. And um, this was always one of my personal philosophies, which I tried to tell others, too. I mean, if you, if you work somewhere which you really love, it doesn't doesn't seem to be work, you know right. what I'm saying? And you hear lots of other people who are satisfied in their profession and they never, they never, like, like it was so funny and, and I love the work I do. So it's good that you do that. Yeah. I mean, that you can enjoy the work that you yeah. do. Yeah. But I mean, how many hours do you put in? If you were to add it up, I, I mean, you're not putting in a 40 hour week, you're not putting probably in a 50 hour week. No, it probably goes up to 70. I would guess. I mean, that's just incredible to me. I mean, you have to take time to enjoy yourself. I mean, I know you go to town, and I know you're going to Austria soon, and, but... But you see, well, see the last time when I... I don't know. Large homes, in a way, I like to know... I like to be able to hear everything around me. You know, that's why I don't mind living in a small place, because I like to recognize all the sounds in the so you wouldn't, let's say this is new, it's not haunted, then it's just <laughs> uh, the house, the castle, whatever you might want. Right. That's really interesting. Is that the reason? I think it's a good reason. Yeah. No, uh, what I wanted to say is that uh, the last time we met in the park right. was working there for me. Right. But I don't consider it work because, you know, I have every now and then I have the chance to be in a location like this or in a park right. and enjoy nature and talk and uh, try to make other people comfortable, so, which makes me comfortable because right. it's a nice atmosphere. It doesn't happen every day. There's a lot of office work too. I mean, you can't just go out in nature and be distracted by so many people. But, uh, but see, I think that's good because you're putting yourself in that position. You're creating your own environment that you're comfortable in. Right, a lot of people don't have that flexibility. They're forced into a position that they don't want to be happy mm -hmm. in, and you're creating that. Gorgeous. Look at that. Look at the floor. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still trying to meet him. I know. He's a little... Yeah, he's... Yeah, but, but he had, uh, the last time I saw him, it just radiated so much joy and happiness and like satisfaction. Mm -hmm, uh -huh. But I still have, to, still have to get in touch with him again. So what about when you go to Austria? Well, he's, he's a very busy man, so, you know, he has lots of schedule but it's it's a funny thing because which is a true fact that lots of Austrians are yeah yeah I'll be in Austria for about three weeks there's the a psychiatric uh, convention mm -hmm. it's actually at the Sigmund Freud Convention Center right. and uh, that's gonna be interesting because I haven't been in Austria for over a year now and I try to visit my family mm -hmm. and stay in touch with them and it's just gorgeous, you know, the air and the landscape. I just kind of miss this mountain feeling, you know. Does I grew up on a mountain, basically, almost. Does it make you want to stay in Austria? No, no, I don't want to go to Austria once or twice a year. I'm very right. happy. It's just very, it's just very small. See, if you're over here in in LA and you do work and you meet people, it's just so much more. Just think of those people. It's just a bit, a bit do that best. Like Vienna, I don't know for whatever reason, it just didn't appeal. But the last couple of years, we tried to get the old flair, uh, kind of the old Indian ambience of the city back. And it's just beautiful to walk. You know, there's so much tradition. You know, all the old building. It's, but that's, yeah, it's funny. I mean, I don't know, maybe I sound... A little biased? Yeah. 
but, but but you can smell more stuff over there than over here. Right. And I never got that. Why, why is this? Yeah. Is this because of the pollution? When you come back from Austria, you're going to be so impressed with the paintings, because I'm going to come up here by myself. And I'm going to block out so much time, days if I need to. And I'm going to paint just about everything that we've seen today. Wonderful. I mean, it's just gorgeous. I'm so glad that you brought me up Wonderful. Here. There's another thing now that you remind me again on paintings. Mm -hmm. I have a, I have actually a couple of good friends in Vienna who have galleries who paint themselves. Now, if I come back and you do that, what you just said. Right. I might uh, hook you up with uh, somebody in Vienna where you can display your work. You've got a deal. All right. Because I'm going to come back here and I will keep my end of the bargain. You keep your end of the bargain. I keep that. You got I it. Keep that. And I speak to those guys and when I come back, it's, it's arrangeable. Okay. Yeah, we should have brought a picnic lunch up here. We could have just stayed all day. Good idea. What time do you need to be back? Do you have patients today? I do, actually. I have to in about mm. another half hour. Oh, okay. oh, we're pretty close, too. Have you ever thought of taking out a partner? A what? A partner? No. No, I don't. You don't feel the need to? No. Yeah. No, because it's a very small circle of clients I have. And, uh, I don't, I don't, I hate mass productions in whatever kind, uh, right. it's, it's psychiatrist or it's manufacturing tennis shoes. Uh, I just <laughs> always like... Hearing your patients to tennis shoes. Right. I just always like the, the small circle. Right. And I think that's, that's the way to do it, that's the way it should be. Because otherwise you lose, you know, I lose focus, you know, if I talk to you because mm -hmm. I have like 150 other patients. In my right. Mind. So it's easier to keep track of you know, smaller clientele, and it's more intense because I can't spend more time with you. And money. Right. So no, I never really thought about an assistant. My secretary, who you met, is <laughs> and she's really nice. Yeah. I think you have a good secretary. And she helps me a lot. Right. A lot. I'm very. And she's That's she's great. very flexible. You know, she, I mean, she she I almost I could trust her with patience too. Right if she wanted to, but she likes the way. Right? Yes, I, I do. really appreciate a copy. You I also did a, a just a driveway alone, and you, know, right. you see that like this. It's like almost British kind of style where you see lots of land. see models and, and actors posing. It's okay. this kind of shape and it has those pools and fountains and there's another fountain and there's another
we jump in? You know what I'm saying? I'm you're on your way somewhere. And yeah. then yeah. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> Personally. <laughs> no, but it does. 57 A and B. <laughs> well, actually, A. <laughs> Wise? No, just what would you, you know, what do you like? I think you should try anything once if you like yeah, it again. I'll give you a copy of my portfolio and you can take oh, that good. with you and you can show everybody. Yeah. Because, I mean, when they see the work that I've done here, I mean, I know they're going to be interested. Mm -hmm. I mean, absolutely. Not only is it breathtaking, and it's a little bit of Austria or Vienna, but it's American. Yeah. And I really believe that a lot of people like that, you know, Absolutely. Tradition. I mean, it's just, you know, especially now with the European community, it's just mm -hmm. so much more open to any artists from anywhere. You I, know. That's what I found. I and mean, the galleries get more people. international and the, the clientele gets more international. Right. So, you know, it's, I mean, you can only win here. I hope so. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, I didn't see any. And you've never been to Austria. Nope. So, there you go. Yeah. You have, uh, A newcomer. They like that. Perfect chance to visit Vienna. And I can show you around if I'm okay. there. Or I might just come with you. That sounds good. Take a break. You can do that. So, you need uh, a break. You're working too many yeah, hours. You're working like 70 hours a week. Let's see, it's, well, See, even this convention I'm going to, because I, you know, I managed to have a couple of days mm -hmm. to see my family, but... Uh, but it still work. If you get, if you have your paintings ready in time and you make this work, actually come to your opening of the gallery. That would be wonderful. I mean, um, I really couldn't, I mean, I would never have an opening without you being there. I mean, you've helped me so much. I mean, not only helping me get past all those creative blocks, but I mean, taking me to places like this, I mean... Well, I'm just happy I could uh, help you and assist you, and I'm glad that you like this location. I love and it. And that it inspired you a little. I did. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah. uh, also one thing is what I said in our first meeting. Think about of, of really taking a break from your close home environment like this one is. And, and take the time, and, and if you can, mm -hmm. take a vacation and, and go somewhere and just, just yeah. you know, Go back into your roots and just analyze yourself. And, and Is that what you're doing? Yourself. You're going to Vienna. Well, I, that's what I. Yeah, when I when I just put everything what's what's work. Not not that it's stressing me out, but just to get a different point of view. Right. You well, know. because like you're saying, you're returning to your roots. You're right. going to see your family. You're going to go to the place right. where you grew up. And 
No, I have the advantage because I'm from Austria, so I yeah. can. Because you told me you like traveling and, and you like being yeah. in, on different places, that's why I brought you here because it might inspire you for something. And yes. And there you go. And so I thought if you might go somewhere mm -hmm. on vacation, which you would always would have liked to go right. to, like wherever that might be, where you just can concentrate on yourself and just mm -hmm. enjoy the new environment. I can't think of any place right now where I would want to go. You have to. You have to have a, some aim. I mean, I could tell you tons of places. Where oh, I, I know you go. could. I can think of a tons of places, but... No, you don't have to tell me. Just, you know, yeah. that's, that's one of... of uh, it's a thought. Right. If, if you might consider this, it's good. If not... If you're happy with this, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. it's perfect. Definitely. But it's just uh, just a little advice. That's what I just try to, to tell lots of lots of people who are kind of suppressed by their immediate surroundings and, and want to get something new. Right. You know, even if it's just for their eyes, but, but just to get some new lights, a new culture, a new anything that's that's not the usual right. day by day thing. Well, see, this isn't, this isn't usual. I mean, for me to just take a day off and just explore with a friend, you know, to go check out new locations. I mean, because usually I'm by myself. And it, and and it helps you. And you, you help helps me because you. you, I don't know, it just makes me open my eyes up more and just see other things I haven't seen before. That's why I, I still think it's a good, would be a good choice that you might consider this. This is not a, a must, but might consider to go somewhere, by some. Right. Just think about it. Yeah. So I gotta go. Okay, yeah. I have a meeting. But I'll definitely see you and talk to you before I leave. Okay, sounds good. You are? Well, we'll park next to each other so let's just walk out. Because I'm going to leave now. I'm not going to stay in cage or sketch or anything. Okay. So which way are you going? Because my car is this way. Thank you.